Hello and welcome back to Morrowind. So, we have joined the Dunmer Temple and, well, now we're going to go join some guilds, I think, if we can find them, and explore some more of Balmora. It's a pretty good place. Don't know why I didn't use the steps, but, you know, we're going to explore it, find out what's going on, and basically all that sort of good stuff. The Razor Hole. Where is this? Up the steps? Is it down there? Or is that just the name of this... Oh, I guess that's the name of this place right here. Probably a shop, isn't it? It's locked. That's what it is. All right, the eight plates. That sounds like a tavern. Me, anyway. Uh, it's a way back outside. Ah, there we go. It is a tavern. What do you think of Balmora, Outlander? Hello, Alvestera. I'm dying, thank you. What can I do for you? I'm Alvis Terra, a rogue. Alright, tell me about your trade. I'm a lovable rogue, a civil tongue devil with a taste for better things in life. But as lovable as I am, some people get upset with me, so I must fight purely in self-defense, you understand? I like light armor and short blades for self-defense, heavy armor and heavy weapons just tire you out, but I train in various weapon types and armor types so I can improvise such when the situation demands it. Lore. The distant priests challenge certain tradition uh, traditional doctrines of the temple. They also criticize abuses of power by the ordinators and accuse the temple leaders of greed and corruption. Alright, rumors. Yeah, we already know that one. Advice. You look like you uh, you look like you might not faint from wearing heavy armor. You might check out the Legion Fort Garrison at Fort Moonmoth. They like them big over there. Maybe they're looking for recruits. Good benefits, chance for advancement, get a piece of land at retirement, maybe even end up a knight. Alright, secret. They say a vampire can hide among us. Nonsense. One look at the face and you know a vampire. You can't disguise that. You can wear a helmet. But here in Morrowind, we don't trust anyone who won't take off a helmet in private. In Mor Morrowind, someone like that is looking to spend some time in a big hot fire. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. I'll see you later. Talking of helmets, I do remember we have an extra helmet that we were given as part of a quest. I just want to see. It's armor rating 21. Our helmet is armor rating 13. I should just wear that at all times. That's just better. It does, however, make us look a little stupid. That's okay. I can look stupid. Hello. Uh, what's your background? I am a noble of House Halu and have no business to discuss with you. Yes, we both belong to the same house, but I still have no business to discuss with you. Rumors? House Reardan's in trouble. Halu's got all the ebony trade. Tilvani are grabbing land right and left. I hear Bolvin Venom is sleeping with... Fathaza Lethry and Garissa won't do anything about it. A Redoran and Vivek refused to show up for a duel the other day. House Redoran isn't what it used to be, that's for sure. All right. Is there Hello? something I can do for you? Um, right. Who are you? I'm Travin Marvos, rogue and retainer of Great House Halu. All right. Hello. Tell your friends about this place. Good day. I'm Dulena Valle, a publican of the eight places here, of the eight plates here in Balmora. We rent beds. I have a limited selection of goods for barter. Uh, if you're new here, I can tell you about uh, where to look for other services, specific place to buy. If you're looking for someone in particular, I can help. Nah, I'm all right, thanks. Um, goodbye. How about downstairs? We got anything here? Couple of locked doors. Well, I think it's time to leave then, right? So, ooh. Oh, there we go. Don't know why it starts you looking at the wall. It's a little weird, isn't it? Right, um, where are we going now? Let's just continue our circle around the outside. This looks like a fighter's guild, right? Fighter's guild. Is there something? Yeah, you need? get me in there. Hello. So what do you want? Hello, Bruce. I'm Fasil Sharas, uh, Sharasel. And this is Balmora. I don't believe we're met. Is there something I can do for you? Let's tell you your background. I'm a scarce apprentice of the Fighters Guild. Oh, tell me about the Fighters Guild then. Show us some respect. You're in the most stalwart guilds of warriors, the sight of death. Eldest Fire Eyes, the guild steward here. Seek her out if you think you have the right stuff. Tell me about the Mages Guild. Alright, you don't tell me anything specific. That's fine. Tell me about the Fighters Guild. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, so no, nothing really there. Uh, tell me about Morrowind lore. We already had that one. Rumors? Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Advice? Uh, yeah, okay. 
Uh, if, you consider, if you're considering a mercenary career, the Fighters Guild isn't too choosy. No, we don't take offense. It just means that they're relaxed, easygoing, get, give along, get along. The Legion is a lot of tougher outfit. Fussy about ends and means, if you follow me. And all those House Redoran people, they're tough and sharp, a bit tiresome in the duty and honor line. Okay. Uh, secrets. Someone said Larius Varro over at Fort Moonmoth is looking for you. He said he wants to talk to you. I don't know about what. All right. Cool. Wayne? Welcome, adventurer. Looking for an equalizer, something to give you an edge against a superior opponent. When you need to do a lot of damage in a hurry, you can't beat a poison blade. Try my inexpensive iron spider dagger and steel spider blade or imperial netch blade for even more bite. Who are you? I'm a smith and apprentice of the fighter's guild. Alright. Rumors? They say the Legion gives out good armor to their best recruits. Useful to know. Advice? Join a guild. Secrets. Keep your weapon sharp. Cool. We've had those What's before. Is that Eldis? Yeah, red hair, uh, fire eye, makes sense. Come on then, say something or move on. Well, speak up, Red Guard. What do you want? Are you here to join the Fighters Guild? Yeah. You look like you take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighters Guild chart. Are you ready to sign up now? Oh, read the charter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren. In all ways, proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. As a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest. It is traitorous to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. If you can uphold these simple ideals, you bet. You are now Bruce, the associate of the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you are ready for advancement. Equipment chest? Find basic supplies, arrows, bolts, healing potions. If you need more healing than that, head to the temple. We're ready to resub the chest once in a while, but don't count on it. Okay. Uh, Fighters Guild orders. A very simple contract to end an infestation of cave rats. You might be able to handle it. Cave rats? Go to Dr uh, Drarain's Thelis' house. It's here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment from Drarain Thelis. Report back to me once you're taking care of this. Sure. Can I advance? No. Okay, but my skills are good enough, basically, is all that says there. Right, well, we'll head down here. So what's this? Head down here, I'm looking for the equipment chest. Also, am I allowed to just take whatever I like from in here? You know what, that's useful to know, actually. Hey, um, I want to open this and take it. We'll pay for that. So that'd be a no then, huh? Only stuff in this designated equipment chest. Alright. We got some locked chests there. I could have a look. Oh, hello, Please. everybody. Um, hello, friend. Uh, well, who are you? I'm Felina Amelusius, drill master and journeyman of the Fighters Guild. So you can offer me training in athletic spear and block. Cool. Right. See ya. Oh, wait. Rumors? Uh, rumors? Nothing. Advice? Nothing. Secrets? Nothing. Lore? I'm... In the Tilvani district, a few of the Tilvani tower towns are just big villages with wizard towers. Cool. Hello. I am Hasfat Antabolus, drill master. You offer training. What type of training do you offer? Just a different set of training. Cool. Nice. Uh, a book. Fighter skill charter. Well, I might as well read it, right? Close. I didn't mean to open it. Don't, don't, don't attack me. Uh, the fight- alright. Purpose. The Fighters Guild- the Guild of Fighters provides employment to free swords and mercenaries and contracts to local citizens. Citizens may contract with the Guild for removal of creatures and pests, the delivery of goods on dangerous routes, and collection of beasts for the arenas and other duties defined by the Guild stewards. Authority. The Guild of Fighters was established under Section 4 of the Guild's Act. This charter was first confirmed under Potient Versidu Siede in the 321st year of the Second Era. Rules and procedures. Any member of the guild of fighters who strikes or steals from another member shall be expelled from the guild. Readmittance is at the discretion of the guild steward. Citizens who contract with the guild of fighters and have a dispute may appeal first to the guild steward who accepted the contract and second with the authorities of each province. Membership requirements. The guild selects candidates who are strong and healthy. A candidate must have some proficiency with long blades, axe, blunt weapons, and shields. Guildsmen must be able to use and maintain heavy armor. Applications for membership. Candidates must present themselves to the steward of the guild hall for examination and approval. 
Attachment A, Fighters Guild, Chapters in Varnfell District, Province of Morrowind. Chapters are established in guild own freestanding guild halls on towns of Aldrin and Balmora. This chapter, the chapter in Sadrath Moor, is established in Wolverine Hall under lease from the Tilvani Council. The chapter in Vivic is established in the foreign quarter under lease from the Tribunal Temple. All right, cool. So, what I'm looking for Greetings. here Greetings. is the equipment chest. We're told was down here somewhere. Also, I just want to check, how do you do lock picking? We'll do a little quick save in case we get caught, but... You just can't? It's like a do it or don't do it kind of thing? Okay, like if you have this skill, you can just unlock it? Where is, is lock picking a skill? Lock picking isn't a skill. Is it? Let's, oh, security's a skill. Uh, wait, so if I just keep spamming it... No, it doesn't let me unlock it. I don't really know how to do that, but that's fine. Maybe I need a lockpick? I probably need a lockpick, and I probably don't have one. Well, do I have one? I do have a lockpick. Oh, alright. So let's try it. Ah! So I take this out, and then I go... And then I can take what's in here. All right. That's fine. I might as well try, right? Nice. Uh, we got some more stuff to sell. Cool. And then I would then put my iron longsword back on again. And that's us set up. Good to know. Right. I was told not to steal, but, I mean, if nobody knows that I've stolen, I haven't really stolen at all, have I? Right. Hello. Go ahead, I'm Hello. Listening. So what's this about? Th that's not the equipment chest, is it? Ugh. Disgusting. Me? Oh, sorry. So what's this about? Where is the equipment chest? Do you need something? Are oh, they real? Do we get arrows, bolts, a fur helmet... And then standard potions. And a journeyman har a hammer. Nice. I like it. So how do I repair stuff? So if I take this hammer. Do, do I use it on something like that? Does it 95? If I then take one. No. I'd like to take one. And I can apply it to something that I'm wearing. At the shield? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then just repair it. To improve my armor skill. Right? Close. So now I can check my armor skill. Uh, which is here. And each time we succeed, we get a little bit further. Nice. Is there okay. something you need? But I need you to take a step back. You're a little bit close. All right, made his guilds. Wait. Oh yeah, let's just join. It's just next door, so why not? Quick save into the Mages Guild. Hello. Are you looking for me? Do you want to join the Mages Guild? Yeah. Mm, yes. You look like the sort we could use in the Mages Guild. We take the Mages Oath and join the Guild. What's the oath? Before many duties assigned to you by the masters of the guild, learn from them and grow strong. I'll always share your knowledge freely with other guild members, never strike or steal from another guild member. Does this appeal to you? Yeah. You are now a member of the Mages Guild. Welcome, associate. When you're ready, you can ask for duties to perform. Once you're ready, you can ask about advancement in the guild. Duties. I don't have any duties for an associate. Speak with me again when you've proven yourself. In the meantime, speak with uh, Ajira. I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Advancement? Does not occur by magic. Ha 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 ha. Pay more attention to your duties. Make sure you understand our requirements. Uh, we need keen intelligence and dominant will. Candidates must exhibit mastery in the great school's magic, destruction, alteration, illusion, and mysticism. Candidates must also display practical knowledge of enchantment and alchemical processes. Alright. What does that mean in practice? So if I go and check the Mages Guild, 
You need 30 intelligence, 30 willpower, and then to have um, a skill at least 10 in one of those, which I don't have. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Oh, I get to use the supply chest now. Spirit of the Daedra as well. Nice. I was worried there for a second. How you should know us. Death, defeat, and fear. We do not die, we do not fear death. Destroy the body, and the animus is cast into the darkness, but the animus returns. We are not all brave. We feel pain and fear it. We feel shame and fear it. We feel loss and fear it. We hate the darkness and fear it. The scamps have small thoughts and cannot fear greatly. The verme have no thoughts and cannot fear. The Dremora have deep thoughts and must master fear to overcome it. The Tlan bond. We were not born, yet we have... We are not born. We have no fathers nor mothers, yet we have kin and clans. The clan form is strong. It shapes body and thought. In the clan form is strength and purpose. The oath bond. We serve by choice. We serve the strong, so that their strength might shield us. Clans serve by long practice, but practice may change. Dromora have long served Dagon, but not always so. Practice is secure when oath bonds are secure, and trust is shared. When oath bonds are weak, there is pain and shame and loss and darkness and great fear. How we think about man. Perhaps you find scamps comic and vermei brutish. Then how do you imagine we view you humans? You are the prey, we are the huntsmen. The scamps are the hounds and the vermei, the beaters. Your flesh is sweet. The chase is diverting. As you may sometimes praise the fox or hare, admiring its cunning or speed, and lamenting as the hounds tear its flesh, so do we sometimes admire our prey, and secretly applaud when it cheats our snares or eludes pursuit. But, like all worldly things, you will in time wear and be used up. You age, grow ugly, weak, and foolish. You are always lost late or soon. Sometimes the prey turns upon us and bites. It is a small thing. When wounded or weary, we fly away to restore. Sometimes the precious thing is lost, but that risk makes the chase all the sweeter. Man's mystery. Man is mortal and doomed to death and failure and lost. This lies beyond our comprehension. Why do you not despair? All right, well, that's an interesting one there. Did we get another hammer? I think we... Oh, no, we got... One of our hammers has nine uses now. I see. We got anything else in here? Uh, we got some scrolls, didn't we? We can now cast some of these intervention stuffs on ourselves. I think that's the one that lets you... D uh, teleport, maybe? Yeah. Cure disease, divine intervention takes you to a temple. I think this one takes you somewhere else. Like, this one takes you to a... Um, to the nearest imperial cult. This one takes you to the nearest Dunmer temple. Okay. Soul trap, open and restore. Cool. Right. Um, I don't want to steal. Although the Mage's Guild one didn't say you won't steal from another member, which is interesting. Well, sorry, I just like the rug. Uh, quick save. Hello. Step right up, Bruce, and look at my collection of scrolls. How about flashy and cheap tam da tal dam scorcher to burn your foes or undies unhinging to open stuck chests and doors? If you're going somewhere dangerous, try schools of vitality and vigor to restore in your health and fatigue. If you're in real trouble, you want the Alm Civi Intervention or Divine Intervention to transport you instantly to nearest temple or nearest imperial shrine. Alright, what are you? Enchanter and journeyman. Cool. Um, tell me about latest rumors. Yep. Advice. Yep. And secrets. Yeah, cool. Do you want something from me? No. Um... No. Right, not that way either. Just looking for my duties. While doing some jumping practice. Is that actually helping our acrobatics at all? I have to check. It is. If I jump, does that increase it by one? No. Okay. Hello. Hello, friend. I'm Esther Dallin. Welcome to Balmora. I'm a mage and apprentice of the Mages Guild. Okay, um, rumors. Nope, advice. Use illusion spells like invisibility to scout an area before you go on the offensive. Often a cunning spellcaster can simply avoid 
opponents and obstacles, move right to the objective and leave without taking a scratch. There are many common variants of illusion spells, not to mention the countless custom versions created by ambitious spellcasters, but here is a list of the most basic spells, representing all the fundamental classes of spell effects produced by the college. Hide Chameleon, Light Chameleon, um, Night Eye, Charming Touch, Paralysis, Silence, Blind, Earwig, Calm Humanoid, Calm Creature, Frenzy Humanoid, Frenzy Creature, Demoralize Humanoid, Demoralize Creature, Rally Humanoid, Rally Creature. Alright, secret. Interested in Dwarven Artifacts? Fine, Dwarven Ruins are, fan are fascinating and there's good loot. It's one suggestion, if you find yourself over your head, back out and go back running errands and hunting rats for a while. Seriously, those Centurions, Spider Centurions, Spear Centurions, Steam Centurions, they're far too dangerous for most adventurers. Steam Centurions? The enchanted uh, animated artifact of the uh, Dwemer creation. Constructed in the form of an armored warrior, they're aggressive and dangerous. Scrap metal collected from Dunmer artifacts is rare and precious and prized by both collectors and antiquarians. Uh, and antiquities? Oh, uh, collectors of antiquities and st students of metals and enchantments. Sure. Oh, yeah, what do you say about the Mages Guild when we're here? Um... Just out of curiosity. Okay. The Mages Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to promote the arcane arts. It's where you go to find wizards of hire, training goods, services are cheaper for members, and the guild stewards know where to find work. If you're thinking of making wizardry your profession, you should join and work your way up the ranks. Look for guild halls in Balmor, Aldrin, Wolverine Hall in Sadreth Moor, and the Foreign Quarter in Vivek. Lore. Misshapen monsters and diseases called Blight Disease are spreading from the Red Mountain Volcano where Devil Dakath Ur and his Ash Vampires live. Do you want something? No, I just want to know what you already told me. So I can now probably sleep here as well. Nice. Hello. There is much to Shard discuss. Shard Crash I cannot think with all these interruptions. Please leave me alone. Uh, okay. Necromancy. In the Empire, necromancy is a legitimate discipline. Through, though body and spirit are protected property, it may not be used by permission of the owner. But in Morrowind, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. That's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer summon their own dead to guard tombs and defend the family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition. That's all. Okay. Tell me about necromancers. No, of course not. I cannot teach you the spells. I'm not a necromancer. No, absolutely not. Not a necromancer. Oh, interesting. Um, tell me about the Mages Guild. A rat's nest. Unsound practices, slipshod scholarship, politics, lamb brains, and lunatics. Essential for research and worthwhile for the discounts on services, if nothing else. Maran Dren here, she's not bad, good intentions, and Edwina Elbert over at Adrun, interesting projects, better out of touch perhaps, but sound and sensible. Rumours. Ajira made a bet with Gald Bedur about who would get the rank of Jornion first. I hope it doesn't end with more flame atronax in the guild library like last time. A bet? Oh, it doesn't surprise me that a bet. Okay, uh, duties. Speak with Ajira. Alright, what do you spells do you have? Shocking Balm I could buy. Soothing Balm, I mean. Alright, so it heals 3 to 12 on use. Not bad. It's not good. Training? Okay. And I bet we, if we got our persuasion up, we could then get him to do necromancer stuff, right? Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's okay. Uh, hello. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Uh, your background. You're a mage and apprentice. Okay. Um, tell me about lore. Yeah, okay. Advice. If you're heading into the back country, always carry a couple of restore health. Yeah, what? Yeah, I don't need that advice. Rumors? Secrets. Nope. Okay. See ya. Hello. Go ahead, I'm listening. You look like a vampire, to be honest. You're very pale. Um Mal and um, Malaslini Miran the Breton. Skills guide. I provide instantaneous transport between various major guild halls in Vardenfell. What is your destination? I can also help with local information. Do you need services? Are you looking for a specific place or someone in particular? Destination? I can teleport you to, uh, from a major guild here in Malmora to the Vivic Major Guild, to the Aldrin Major Guild, to the Caldera Major Guild, to the Sadrath Mora Major Guild. Oh, so if I wanted to go to somewhere, I can just like travel and then. Oh, 
That's fairly cheap. Well, that seems good. Uh, what's your background? Your guild guide and apprentice of the Mage's Guild. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, tell me about the Mage's Guild. Um, the Mage's Guild is dedicated to the preservation and the distribution of magical knowledge. Pursue your studies diligently, Bruce, and the benefits of belonging to the Mage's Guild will become clear to you. Okay. Lore. By Redoran custom, killing is justified in war, self-defense, defense of property, affairs of honor, and house wars affairs. Other killings of foul murder must be punished. Your trade. I'm a guild guide. Can teleport you to various destinations for a modest fee. Not that bad, actually. Rumors. No. Advice. Learn the mark, recall, levitation, and open spells. Mark and recall are essential for any long-distance travel. There are plenty of places you can't get without levitation. And treasure does you no good if it's behind a locked door or locked chest. Nice. And secret? Everyone can learn a few spells. You don't need to be a wizard to cast spells. It makes life easier. When you learn a spell, practice. It's the only way to learn and helps pass the time. Okay. Cool. Oh, Azira. Uh, hello. What brings you to Azira's shop? Do you want duties from Azira? Do you want the local booze or help in a fight? Some Tilvani bug musk or to reach high places? Tilvani bug musk? Azira does not like the Tilvani. But even Khajiit like the smell of bug musk. Try some and smell how all the women like you. Help in a fight? Azura sells potions of restore health for when you are bleeding, restore fatigue for when you are weary. Local brews? Yes, Azira sells mats, flin, and sojama. They make you strong as a Kajuti and half as smart. It puts hair on your face. Duties? Yes, Azura has duties for you. Before Azura can... Be a journeyman of the Mage's Guild, as you must study local mushrooms. Mushrooms? To finish Azura's report, Azura needs samples of Luminous, Rizula, Violet, Coprinus, Bung Bungler's Bane, and Hyperfasia. Azura knows you can find all these on the Bitter Coast. The easiest way is to go south along the River Odai until you see the wooden bridge across the river. Get out the river there and find a path over the hills. Luminous, Rizula? Rizula comes with a short, smelly toadstool, which is brown on top. Uh, Violet Coprinus? Coprinus comes with a long stem toadstools, which glow blue at night. Uh, Bungler's Bane? Bungler's Bane grows on trees and sometimes in other things. It looks like a tree has brown shelves. Azure wants you to not eat Bungler's Bane. Oh, okay. Um, Hyphea Fascia? Hyphea Fascia looks much like Bungler's Bane and grows. Like a shelf on trees and other things. I'd be a fascia safe to eat, but make sure it is not Bungler's Bane. Okay, Odai. The river Odai is the river here to in Balmar. It goes right through the middle of town. Tell me about your bet with uh, Golbedir. It doesn't surprise me. What do you mean it doesn't surprise you? It's your bet. Alright, um, goodbye. So do I have all these things? So I need... Uh, I know I had Bungler's Bane. I ate it. Alright. Where is... is there some gold? Do you require Where's that guy who we're told mm. to speak to? Do you need something? So, we know ajira has got a bet with somebody else. Um... There's none of them. Okay. Well, I can hop my way up here, definitely. Who are you? Uh... Do you want more duties or not? Yeah, sure. I don't have any duties for an associate. Alright. Yes, I know all about their bet. It's the same thing when I was an apprentice. You might do well what Azir asks. Is there something I can do for you? Okay. There's someone watching me. I can tell. Do you just sit there's somebody watching me? Hello. Uh I want to know about your bet. Have you been helping Azir with the bet? Go ahead. I have many tricks of my own. Even you and Azir together can't stop me from winning. Do you have any duties for me? Speak for Azira. Alright, well, find it. I'm out. Ah, oh god. It's foggy, huh? Very foggy. Well, didn't expect quite so much fog. Bookseller. Oh, we'll speak to the bookseller, why not? And now it's dark and, oh, and now it's light again. Hello. So your name is Bruce. Um, alright, if you want Mar- if I start to borrow about Morrowind lore, just let me know. Okay. Imperials worship powerful spirits. Yeah, okay. Your background? I am 
Dorisa Darval, bookseller. Okay, um, tell me about rumours. Baladas Demavani has studied Dwemer ruins all over Vardenfella. Here he's always looking for books on Dwemer. Advice. Nope, secrets. Okay. I will see you later. Right. Very foggy still. Go ahead, Armorer. Okay. Basically just seeing if any of these guys have any quests for us. Hello, Meldor. Uh, what's your background? I'm Meldor, Smith. Uh, Alright, uh, what is your lore? Uh, we've already had that one. Rumors? Had it. Had it. Had it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Goodbye. Right. Ah. Foggy. Very foggy. Trader. Alright. Uh, hello. Ravia knows why you're here. You want to buy Ravia's famous Daedric weapons, Daedric? What? You say these are not Daedric weapons? No, you're right, but Ravia is no liar. When you wish it, Ravia friend, a fiend, demon, and devil weapons will be as sharp as fine Daedric, light as Nech Ersac. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Ravia buys them direct from the Telvanni, not find any cheaper in all of Valmora. Alright, um, let's barter. So he sells some Chitin stuff, and then he sells the Fiend stuff. Okay. Then it has a different thing that will also cast. Okay. Yeah. For a short amount of time. Okay. Useful to know. I don't necessarily need. Um... So, what else could we get here? We get gauntlets, we get helmets. He sells a, a whole bunch of junk, which probably means we can sell him a whole bunch of junk, doesn't it? Buy my baskets? Yeah, sure. My bottle, bowls, cups, uh, this redware pot, the spoon, vase, some plates, um, the glass pot, pitcher, uh, cup. More cups. 28 gold. I'll take it. Yeah. That's not bad. What cool. do you want? See you later. Are we getting better with our barter? My curiosity. Barter is a skill, isn't it? No, speechcraft is a skill. Barter is not a skill. Okay. Good to know. Is that helping our personality? No, because that doesn't level up. Okay. Is this just a, an extension of how many skills you have? Outfitter, don't need to worry about that. I don't really like the fog very much. I've already been that way. It means that I'm my sense of direction has got even worse. Have I already been in here? Uh yes, it's the it's the door it's the higher door. Okay, okay, okay. Um where do I want to go now? Probably this way? So I think that just takes me to the uh, council, right? Have I been everywhere I need to go in Balmora? Well, that'd be nice. Apart from that house I need to go to for the fighter's guild, but we'll get there eventually. Right, um... Drop down here. We are completely uh, fatigued up, aren't we? Yeah, luckily we're not fighting anything right now, but... Oh, I thought I was stuck there for a second when my fatigue ran out. There is the other side of the river. Let's just quick save. May your kills be Hello. Quick and many. Shargam grow shat dolk. What brings you here, Redguard? Greeting, citizen. I'm Shargam grow shat gold. Um, why don't you tell me about the Empire? Nope. Okay. Why don't you tell me about your trade? I am a commoner. Okay. Your background. I'm a commoner. Okay. Well, tell me about your lore. Let me tell you a little thing about the Blight. The Blight is a weather phenomenon associated with Varnvel's colossal volcano Red Mount, persistent with the ghost fence, that is, within the crater on the, volcanos, on the volcano slope, an intermittent near a volcano. The Blight is health-threatening, ash-heavy, volcanic cloud. Plants and creatures exposed to the Blight may contract a variety of Blight diseases. So stay away from Red Mountain and the Blight, unless you're some mighty hero or wizard. Alright, uh, rumours? Everyone still talk about the murder of Walin Hallow. Who? 
Who? You can't say who. You just told me about this. These guys being murdered, and then I say his name, and you go, who? That's useless. Anyway, uh, tell me about your advice and your secret. All right. Goodbye. Hello. Hello, friend. I'm Hedvad. Welcome to Balmoro. Uh, what's your background? I'm a barbarian. Okay. What do you know? You know what? Uh, rumors. Uh, House Halu must have a spy in Alduin. They all seem to know what the Retherrand Council is planning. Uh, join the Fighters Guild. Alright, cool. That's alright, we'll cross over here. Don't know why I'm jumping, because we don't really have enough uh, fatigue to cope with I'm that. Listening. Quick Go save. Ahead. Hello. Um, what's your trade? I'm a pauper. Alright, uh, tell me about your rumors. Uh, I heard the East Empire Company was fed up with House Halu and were looking for another source of ebony. Advice. No nope. Secrets. Um, I heard the Ordinators burned out a camp of Neverine cult worshippers out by the ghost fence in Voyager Ashen Dan. The temple seems to be going through a lot of trouble to exterminate a bunch of simple Ashlanders. They can't help being ignorant, they're just primitive savages. No one takes that return of Lord Nerevar stuff seriously, crazy rag robe prophets. Not much threat there. Alright. See you later. What's this one? Someone's house. Okay. Someone's house. Not gonna go break into all the houses. This one. I think that's the house I need to go to. Um. Okay. Oh, I can switch it to quests. Oh, wow. There's a lot of quests. And I haven't still haven't reported the Caseus Crusaders. Uh, Fighters Guild. Exterminator. Okay. Drian Thel asked about some rats that have invested her house. Alright, well. That's where I am, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm probably not allowed to rest here. Let it all brighten up. Or Yeah, that's fine. Can I rest here? Alright, hello. Are they the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? Sure. Rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Bruce? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in the storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here, the key for the door. There are at least three of those beasts. I hope they haven't got to my good pillows. All right, um, what's your trade? I'm a commoner. All right, rumors, advice, secret, lore. Cool. Uh, I'll see you later. Make it quick, Outlander. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually going to proper save as well. That's fine. Just because I don't trust the quick save as much. <coughs> I'm not doing a good job of hitting it. There we are. wasn't close enough. This is not going well. Got it. It is dead. We've killed one rat. Dispose of the corpse. Right. Uh, I'll, we'll do a quick save. I'll then also... See if we got anything better I could use here. Probably not. Um, what I want to do... Is heal myself. And I did get a potion of restore health, didn't I? I got ten of them. I would like one potion of restore health. Nice. Yeah, it's done its job. Quick save. He has a lot of pillows. Like a ridiculous number of pillows. Okay. I'm trapped. It's fine, not trapped anymore. Right, so where, how do I get upstairs? Make it quick, Outlander. Well, I'd love to, but I don't know how to get upstairs in your place oh here. Storage room upstairs. I was seeing if there was like an attic somewhere. Maybe I just need to literally go outside and walk up the stairs. Let's leave. Yeah, I do. Cool. 
very odd uh, house layout, but that's fine. Uh, hey, 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 I can't see anything yet. Just spam the hit button. Got it. Apparently spamming the button can also work. Maybe I was holding it for too long. Alright, we'll dispose of the corpse. Dispose of the corpse. Nice. She has too many pillows. There's, there's all pillows. She's crazy. Just gonna take a little gold from her, okay? Just grab a little bit of stuff. We'll take all of that. Just take the uh, immediately useful stuff, okay? Like the gold. Leave her pillows. She'll, she'll notice if they're gone. All of that is immediately useful. Yeah, all of this is ours now. Right. Time to leave. Her alone with her pillows. Right. Um, yeah, in here. What is this about? Yes, hello. Um, well, I have dealt with your problem. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these 100 septums. That's what I agreed to pay the fighter's guild. Goodbye. I have 100 septums now. I'm rich. How much do we have? 180. It's not bad. All right, we'll hop our way back to the fighter's what guild. What is this about? Nothing, just uh, trying to increase our acrobatic skill. It works. It's brilliant. Um, okay, how close am I to a level? Yeah, still a little bit off. Okay. That's Mage's Guild. Fighter's Guild. Right. I also want to rest, so. Uh, when it's foggy outside, you get this weird load-in effect when you go into buildings. May yeah, I help not sure you? I like it. Anyway. Uh, go in here. Rest. Nice. Close that. And let's go hand in our quest. I suppose I have a It was to Elvin or Adis. Day. Hello. So let's hear it. Um Cave Rat. So you killed the rats, Bruce. Not bad for you. You ready for more orders? Yeah. A local egg mine has a problem with egg poachers, and you're going to solve these problems. Egg poachers? Yes, egg poachers. It may sound silly, but these Quama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Dram Barrow, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, Sevilla Othan and Danila Valas, are former egg miners, long-term tr local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the uh, poachers are dead. Shulk Egg Mine? The mine is a short uh, distance southwest of Balmora in the bluffs west of the Odai River. There's an old suspension bridge across Odai, just southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Balmora till you see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of little swim, are you? Okay. Sure. So we finish that something. quest. Got a new quest. And, uh, which way are we going now? In the fog. You know what? I think we might just end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and next time we'll continue exploring Balmora, because, I mean, look, look at this. We've only explored one half of it. It's a massive town. And apparently this is even the biggest one, because there's Vivek as well, which is just apparently the main city. So, yeah. This is us, in the fog, in Balmora. And it's time to end the episode. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.